Have you ever wondered why horses seem to be so calm when they're near the ocean? There's a fascinating interplay at work here between the natural world and these majestic creatures. Horses, like many animals, have an innate connection to their surroundings. They can sense the changes in weather, they seem to understand the rhythm of the seasons, and they respond to the tranquil sounds of the ocean in a way that is truly remarkable. In fact, some equine therapists even use beach settings to help soothe stressed or anxious horses. The beach is not just a beautiful place for us humans. For horses, the soft sand can be a perfect training ground that's gentler on their joints than hard ground. Additionally, the salty sea air can have a beneficial effect on their respiratory systems, much like it does for us. But it's not only the beach that horses have a unique relationship with. Forests, too, play a significant role in the life of a horse. Forests provide shelter, food, and a rich sensory environment that's very different from the open fields or paddocks that many horses spend their time in. Forests are full of sounds, smells, and textures that stimulate a horse's keen senses. The rustling leaves, the scent of pine, the soft moss underfoot, all of these elements can provide a soothing and enriching experience for these sensitive creatures. And let's not forget, before they were domesticated, horses were wild creatures. They roamed the great expanses of the world from the vast forests to the endless beaches. So it's no wonder that these environments have such a profound impact on them. In the grand scheme of things, humans, horses, beaches, forests, we're all interconnected in the intricate web of life. Understanding these connections can deepen our appreciation for the natural world and the animals that share it with us. To recap, we've delved into the unique relationship between horses and their natural surroundings, particularly beaches and forests. We've learned about the therapeutic effects of the beach on horses and the sensory richness of the forest environment. It's clear that to truly understand these magnificent creatures, we need to consider not just their biology, but also their ecology, the way they interact with their environment. So next time you see a horse, whether it's on a beach, in a forest, or even in a city, take a moment to consider the deep connections that it has with the world around it. You might just find that it deepens your understanding of nature and of life itself.